Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Okay. Um, stay ready so that you don't have to get ready. This nine of wands is definitely you def you protecting and defending yourself. The eight of swords is underneath it. It seems like you could be confused, okay, or, or there's some type of illusion that you're you're trapped or a lot of heavy projection or you just self sabotage like energy here, and that could be due to projection. Of you being afraid to take action in a situation. And now it's the time for you to really take responsibility for yourself and your life like completely. Because with the Page of Pentacles being here, it's like it's time for you to get to work. Um, there's a lot of, of good things that are coming for you as far as like with your career, your finances, um, you learning new things. Yeah, the Eight of Wands is here. Something could come in quite rapidly. And, and it could actually be life, yeah, life changing. The Nine of Pentacles here. Wow. And then the Knight of Cups, the Dreamer, the Ace of Pentacles. It's like everything is right here. You just have to make sure that you're, you're not being a prisoner of your own mind or allowing people into your energy that make you feel like you have to be trapped. Something here with your finances is about to drastically change. This right here, the reading that I just did, it was it was obvious that there was some type of narcissistic abuse here that had someone kind of um, feeling stuck or stagnant because you're getting the evil eye from a lot of people who you detach from because you're choosing yourself and to prioritize just having victory and success in your life. But you need to, these terms that are coming out today, this is a lot of shadow work and healing that I'm sensing in the energy today. I mean, it is a full moon in Aquarius. So it's like you're, this, this energy of detachment is here. It's spiritual detachment from things that no longer serve you. But what's coming up to the surface is the imposter like syndrome you being almost afraid to start something new because you have been discouraged by people who don't support you for so long your support you have a whole new support system that's coming in with whatever these new ventures are so don't be afraid to take a leap of faith you have the dreamer here and then for some of you too it's like you're you're so terrified to start over in love and your wish fulfillment is coming in ace of pentacles somebody that wants to give you like a, a dreamy life they want to give you security and stability and they want to build with you and you know this this person shares the same beliefs as you um somebody is is possibly like learning or studying for something right now with the page of pentacles the page of pentacles is being clarified with the ace of pentacles so it's like if you put the work in right now to learn something to start something it's going to pay off consistency and discipline is also very important but the eight of wands i'm sorry the eight of swords is being clarified with the knight of cups so you may be feeling right now almost like hopeless or helpless but i don't think it's your energy i feel like someone else feels that way and you you're absorbing these emotions so be be careful of the people or in your circle or your environment some of you right now it's like you're about to just take off and have this wish fulfillment and, and all things great in your life but you have individuals around you who they feel trapped okay there, your new start is here so you have to push push through and take this leap of faith and you may have to do it without without a follow without a mention without any type of support or anything and that's okay you have the ten of swords is here the eight of wands it's like you have to spring into action there's some type of situation that has been devastating i feel that is coming to an end. The Hermit card. You went through something to teach you certain lessons. 
But there's about to be a time for you to celebrate this coming. The Nine of Pentacles. And you're definitely going to have some kind of financial blessing or breakthrough. Knight of Wands. Yeah. You're going to be very... Some of you, you have a new job coming up. It's going to make you so passionate. If this isn't you, it's someone in your environment. It could be for some of you, even a lover is coming towards you. They could be getting out of some type of like hardship in their life. This person... Yeah, because I'm seeing that. This just went in a different direction for me. Looking at the cards now. There's a specific situation that I'm seeing right now. For some of you, um, you could be dealing with someone and you're afraid that this person is not going to show up for you. Like in life. I don't feel that this, because the Knight of Cups, I don't really feel like this is someone from your past. This could be someone that you're currently connected to, um, or even someone that's about to come into your life. You're going to have a fear of working with someone because you right now are trying hard to protect whatever you have already created. So, Spirit is saying you really have to trust yourself in this situation because you you have this fear of being trapped. Some of you are very afraid to give love a try because you feel like if you let love in, it's going to ruin everything that you've worked so hard for already. It seems like spirit is trying to tell you that no, in actuality, somebody is coming in to add more value to you. But because of some kind of situation that you've been in that was quite devastating, again, it's some type of deception or betrayal, you don't trust this. A lot of you have been just stuck in nine of pentacles, enjoying the fruits of your labor. You know, maybe you're living soft life, a luxurious life. You're buying yourself whatever you want. Work is going great and all of that, but maybe you haven't really had the greatest success when it comes to matters of the heart. Maybe you've only had people who have come in and, and it's been all about passion, okay? And, and it hasn't been anything serious. And so it looks like somebody here has completely put love on the back burner and has chosen to focus only on their material harvest and success. But somebody is about to come into your life quickly and it looks like you're going to assume that this person is just somebody else that's going to be in and out. But no, this person is someone that's coming towards you because it's time for you to go through yet another awakening. It's time for you to see a situation differently because you've been stuck in this energy of the four of cups. There's a lot of pessimism here and it's leading to self-sabotage. This is you feeling like... There are no more magical opportunities in love because something didn't go the way that you wanted it to in a past situation. But somebody is coming into your life or an opportunity is coming into your life that's going to cause you to go through an awakening where you're going to see everything totally different. You're going to see why things happen the way that they happen and you're going to start embracing these, these changes. Yeah, the sun, the page of pentacles, ace of pentacles, and the sun. For some of you, through some type of new... Okay. <laughs> so somebody here has had a major um, loss. Could have been a separation, a divorce. Somebody could have been fired, laid off. I feel like there's an ending here where someone is in survival mode. This may not be you. This could be the energy of someone in your life or coming into your life. Someone is in survival mode. They could be working on rebuilding their life right now. And it feels like as soon as someone tells themselves, I'm not focusing on love. I'm only going to focus on making money, blah, 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 blah. They run into the like the love of their life. And this could be a masculine that's experiencing. This person is like hanging upside down, going through this dark night of the soul, this awakening. Because they're like, wait a minute. Somebody here was like, no, you know, I'm I'm done with this whole relationship thing, whatever. And then they run into a person that's not codependent, not a pentacles. This is this could be a masculine that's like, you know, they feel like they just 
experienced a lot of karmic feminine energies. This person is rebuilding and boom, all of a sudden they run into the nine of pentacles. They run into a, a feminine energy who has boundaries, who has standards, who's protecting something that they have already created. They run into somebody who doesn't need them, who actually may want them. And they're, this, part, this masculine energy is looking like, oh, wow. Did I just actually run into a divine feminine, like the one maybe? The problem, though, is that this divine feminine is so independent that they're looking at this masculine like, I don't need you. I really don't even want you. This is two people who are very headstrong. They don't, they, they, two people have been stuck in survival mode for so long that the idea of letting love in, wow, Ten of Cups, <laughs> it's challenging. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Somebody comes out of like the worst situation that they've been in, maybe in the last decade. And they go right into the Ten of Cups. They run right into the person that they could literally have their happily ever after with. And somebody is 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 probably having anxiety. Like, is this is it too soon? Why why do I feel like I want to marry this person? Why do, it's going to be that type of energy. This is probably a future prediction. Yeah, some you may be looking at somebody thinking that they're a Knight of Wands. No, this is a King of Wands that's very serious about a Two of Cups situation with you, or they will be. This person means business when it comes to you. But it looks like these two people, this divine feminine and masculine, are both building something, looking for the sun. You're you both planted great seeds and the sun is coming in to give these seeds exactly what you want but what you don't realize is that your harvest you will not have a harvest season by yourself some of you are saying you do not want a relationship i'm telling you victory and success there's promotions awards someone this car says scholarship somebody could be getting some kind of certification Okay, a new business here. There is public recognition and success for somebody who has been stuck at a crossroads for a while. So I'm telling you, somebody here is right. Uh, you're ready to give up on yourself or someone else. And there is some type of string of luck and a bunch of blessings that's about to come in. And it's going to literally change your life. I feel like there's a very two people out here are used to being very independent. You and this person both are in survival mode. Because you feel like you can't depend on anyone. That's how you feel. Like you can't trust anyone. You can't depend on anyone. You're in hermit mode. You don't want to go out and meet people. This is two extremely introverted people stuck in survival mode because they have not received wish fulfillment and love who run into each other. And it's like they're both sick and tired of being sick and tired of being with the wrong people for the wrong reasons. And in this season, it's, it's their harvest and they're going to do it together. 100%. So you guys are going to run into somebody that is just as tired of having <laughs> failed relationships as you. Somebody out here could definitely be divorced. They they know what not to do. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Look, oh, my goodness. This card, these cards, I have nine of wands, eight of swords. In the center is the page of pentacles. And then I have the eight of wands, the nine of pentacles. This is two. This is a, a like a twin flame connection. You and this person are mirroring each other. One person is stuck in their head being very defensive. Like I cannot give up. I cannot let anybody come in and sabotage everything that I've worked for and I've created. This is someone that is for sure a wounded warrior, feeling a little bit pessimistic, like afraid to take a leap of faith. And then you have this other energy here of someone that is like, you know what, it's just too much going on in my life. And this person is all about the money. I need to get to the money. Let me get to, you know, enjoying the the the, the fruits of my labor. Blah, blah, blah. But see, you and this person both, you started with this seed, Page of Pentacles. And you both planted seeds because you wanted wish fulfillment with your security and your stability. I feel like this is, you know, people who've been in relationships where there's could have been some type of codependency in the past. You, you and someone else both could 
understand what it's like to leave a situation with nothing. And now because of what you've had to rebuild, you're in this wounded warrior survival mode. But the page of pentacles is here with the sun. The sun is saying, I'm going to make whatever this, this page is, whatever this small offer opportunity. This is like God saying, I, I'm putting the sun on this so that it turns into the ten of cups, two of cups. You are receiving your biggest blessing and love. 100%. And the page of cups. This starts out small. But you have to open your heart to receive this. It's a brand new emotional relationship for you. Yeah, and here's the queen of cups. <laughs> and there you have the five of cups. There's a masculine out here that's really, or feminine, whoever. You and another person, you're, very, you're still focused on what happened in your past. And you're, it's fear. You're afraid that things are just not going to turn out the way that you wanted them to. I don't know for some of you if you're already with this person or not. If you are, it could just be a situation where maybe somebody is, is trying to like start a business. They're about to graduate. Somebody is going through a life transition right now. And I, I feel there's anxiety here. Like, should I actually be invested in this? Because I don't know if this is going to work out. And you're being triggered by this due to the fact that in the past, Perhaps when you decided to kind of hold it down for somebody, they betrayed you. I don't I don't see betrayal here. This person is not going to do to you what somebody else did to you. Yeah, somebody is very focused on it's a fear of finding out that you're dealing with a person who may be a cheater. They're juggling, you know, they won't be able to protect or provide. They have financial issues. They have, you know, drama with their family. They're stuck. They're stagnant. They're a procrastinator. They're quick to rush in and break your heart and leave you like th this is what's going on in somebody's head. Because here's a five of swords, the two of pentacles, the five of wands, two of swords. This is all mental conflict that's all this is it's chaos it's conflict it's confusion this has nothing to do with anyone's actions all of these cards if you notice are blue are these blue cards representing air energy swords and right now we have the full moon in aquarius and it's affecting someone's emotions Someone you need to pray, you need to meditate, you need to ground yourself. Your emotions, your emotional state is being controlled by something that is um, not true, by these intrusive thoughts in your mind. And it comes from the fact that maybe you have not fully gotten over something that someone has done to you in the past. There's definitely a feminine out here who is very wounded by a past relationship. But it's you, the person that you're connecting with, they're, they're afraid that, some, that they're going to give their all to somebody and it's not going to work out. This is two very wounded people coming together. <sighs> it is draining. This this reading is draining me. It's draining. It's draining because it feels like you and someone, you're going to have to be willing to offer each other emotional support. And this is what's... It's, it's very scary to have to offer emotional support when you feel like you have been so deprived of love. Strength. Yeah. Overcoming the past and allowing the wheel to turn so that you can receive this good karma. It's one thing for people to fight so hard because of the issues and the challenges, but nobody really talks about the, the point in your healing journey when you have to find the strength to love like you haven't been hurt before. Finding the strength to have a fresh start after being deceived and delayed and hurt. 
finding the strength to to just keep pushing forward um and being positive and optimistic about it this is this is challenging it's very challenging because what it is is it requires you to have faith and trust again after being in several situations where it, it, it's like you've lost everything and now here you have release release you have to release this in order for look the lovers the three of cups and the star there's something underneath the, the ten of pentacles you have to stop thinking that the worst is going to happen that that part of your life is over the star yeah seven of swords the deceit, the heartache, the pain, it, it transformed your life for you to have something better. There's a there's a heartbreak here that you have to release. Because honestly, it's like your your life partner, they're waiting they're here, but both of you are carrying this heartbreak. It's not just one of you. You both are terrified to be hurt. You're terrified of the past repeating itself. And right now, because of all of this retrograde energy with Venus being in retrograde, which Venus is the house of love, it's affecting relationships. A lot of people are reflecting right now on their past relationships you're thinking about how friends and family and past lovers how all these people hurt you you're gonna have to find it within yourself to forgive yourself and allow love in because this just feels like the collective is in a rut right now thinking about the past you know full moon energy Venus retrograde, it's like everybody just wants to detach. And this is coming from fear. If I just completely detach and act like love isn't there, then I don't have to ever worry about getting hurt. Is what people are saying. But no, that's a distraction. That's that's the illusion that the enemy is creating so that you will actually turn your back on a true love connection here. That can actually take you to the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. It's a connection where you can be very, very happy. You can also have financial security. You can have a, a home, a family, a legacy. You know, you can retire comfortably with this person. You and this person can create your own family traditions. It's like it's a connection that you can take great pride in. It really is like a legacy. You will pass on these lessons to your children, children, children. But you have to let go of the fact that there was a situation that came into your life and it robbed you of all of your peace of mind. Some of you, it's a situation where someone, they lost their peace of mind. They lost their personal freedom. And they lost all of their financial security from a particular relationship. Yeah, somebody lost like their freedom, their finances, their family, their friends. Somebody has literally just been kicked out of the matrix. And... It's like God is like, yeah, well, I wanted you to lose all that because I want you to start over. Because wherever you or this person, wherever you were before, there was no peace. And what this is transformation is, is coming in to say is that you need to release. But it requires that you be very honest with yourself about the fact that you maybe you thought that what you had before it was everything but you had no peace and peace is priceless hmm. 
Let's see. And it doesn't help the fact that you guys have these energies of people even, you know, from the past or in the background that want forgiveness and they, they want to come back in and they're projecting their energies onto you while you right now are in this deep reflection about your, your own life. Six of Swords, the Two of Cups. So it's like every time you start to release this baggage and try to move towards this Two of Cups, you get stuck in this five of pentacles energy where you start remembering when you lost something, when you lost your finances, your freedom, your family, your friends, when you had to struggle, when you were left alone. You know, if this isn't you, this is someone that you're connecting with and they're having a difficult time with embracing a connection because they're so afraid of experiencing hardship again. Somebody lost everything because of a connection eight of pentacles and now they're working very very hard to just get back some of what they lost yeah ace of swords that's the truth and this person is working very hard right now to finally have peace mental clarity and to have some kind of breakthrough in their life this person has experienced a lot of just challenges and adversity. And this could be you and someone else. It just seems like that one of you is a little bit further ahead than the other. One of you has finally like started to do the work to release the baggage while the other person is just now beginning to release their baggage. The magician card is here. Yeah, someone is having a breakthrough and they're trying to manifest a new beginning. But they have to end something completely. All right, you could be a queen of cups or this person has to end something with the queen of cups. They have to call judgment on the situation or this is you. Knight of swords, nine of pentacles, yeah. And somebody here is, is letting go of any kind of procrastination and they are taking action now to really focus on themselves. The seven of pentacles. This is you being very invested in having wish fulfillment going towards the sun. So it's like you have maybe the feminine here is a bit more um, spiritually evolved. It's like you're trying to focus on happiness, hope and healing. But you suddenly collided with a person who wants the same things, but they're coming out like they just fell off of a burning bridge. It's like here you are sailing along on peaceful, calm waters and somebody that just falls off of a burning bridge onto your boat, but they happen to be your person. How crazy is that, right? That's what I'm seeing in my head. Literally, like, I'm seeing someone just sailing along on a boat, and it's like all of a sudden, you see a burning bridge, and, you know, you continue to sail, but this person, they just kind of fall from the bridge, and here they are now, they're stuck on this boat with you. <laughs> and you're thinking to yourself, like, no way, I have had to go through so much to get here, to even have my own boat and now all of a sudden you tell me that you're gonna fall on my boat and you have to try to put their fire out you're like wait what this is not how you saw this situation you didn't see you're like no yet another ongoing battle nine of wands i have to go through this again but Sometimes you're sent to heal a person or they're sent to heal you and you guys will heal together. And this is very triggering. It's hard because when you know that you've already tried to help or heal someone who didn't appreciate it at all to go in and like I said, love like you've never been hurt before to assist someone who has actually been assigned to you. It's like what? Because you have so many of the wrong people just attached to you. Someone is being assigned to you. 
because you're the high priestess. You you know how to read this person and help them to get out of some type of battle that they're in. It's something about your resilience. You've been wounded. I'm telling you, you've already gone through something that someone else is going through. Their will of fortune is in the reverse. And they've been assigned to you so that you can help them. When this person finds themselves loving themselves again and loving you, they, they're the king of cups. So the king and king, queen of cups is here. The ace of pentacles. And then look at that, the world card. What did I just say about the sailing boat? You see that? It's like, here you are. You have, you're feeling like the world is in your hands. And then, boom, all of a sudden, look, eight of wands. Something slows down. Something slows down because you actually have to be on, on, on work duty as the earth angel. <laughs> you're like, no. <laughs> God truly has a sense of humor. You're like, I'm just minding my business. I just escaped the matrix, all is well, and then boom, here's your next assignment. You thought that you didn't realize your next assignment was going to actually be like your, your twin flame assignment, and you would actually have to help that person, and they would have to help you. I don't think that you saw it being that way at all. Nobody ever sees this type of situation coming. Because seriously, it's like all this abundance is here. You've completed some type of cycle. You've been patient. You know, you're waiting on this, this amazing partnership to come in and it's coming in, but it doesn't come in the way that you thought it was going to come in. It comes in and it moves slowly. You have to have patience. Things have to be done in moderation here because no matter how much money someone has in this situation, whether it's you or this other person, there's two people here who both have wounding from past situations. You and this person, you're the perfect strangers. I mean, can you imagine, like I said, it's like, this person falls on your boat. They're on fire. They're terrified. They're looking at you. They don't know where the boat is going. And you're looking at them like, oh my gosh, you're going to crash. You're, you're going to destroy my boat. Somehow you catch a breeze and the boat keeps sailing and you have a conversation and you realize that they, they're not crazy. Somebody threw them off the bridge. I don't know why I'm saying this whole story. They, I'm telling you, somebody here has like literally, they've completely fallen from, from grace. It's not the same as falling from grace. I feel like this, like God kicked this person out of a karmic situation. And this is where I, I'm, I'm talking about like with the twin flame conversation that comes up so often. You can be, and even now, this could be a future prediction. For some of you, you don't know this person. You can be praying and praying and praying for your person to enter your life. You don't know exactly where they're coming from. Let me say that again. You can pray for your person just as they're praying for you. You guys never know where you're coming from. You just know that you're going to meet. When this person was praying for you, if you're the divine feminine, they had no idea that you would be as heartbroken as you've been because of family and friends and past lovers and that you would be extremely independent and perhaps in a more masculine energy and unable to really let them just love you. They didn't know that, but they have to come in and, and do things in moderation and gain your trust. When you pray for this person and they just somehow fall out of the sky. You don't know that this person has just lost everything, possibly gone through a bankruptcy or divorce, lost friends, found out that their best friend was betrayed. You don't know those things. You just know that you want the connection. When you meet perhaps the love of your life, your twin flame soulmate or whatever, that's just the beginning. All of the things that you've already gone through, which has left you sick and tired of being sick and tired, 
that was that was just like a, a little trial run. That was just to build spiritual strength and character so that when you actually meet this person, the two of you can put both of your heads together and remember the things that you've been through so that you understand the importance of partnership. Understanding and accepting the lessons that you've already had to learn to overcome a lot of hardships because th this is a connection that is actually here to glorify God. It's really not even about you and this person. It's not. It's like when you get into a connection like this. You're going to be like, wow, they're really, like, God really is amazing. Because to see you be open to love and to see this person become completely stable and secure after everything that's been thrown at the two of you, you become the perfect match. But it's only because of God's grace and favor that falls upon your lives due to you and this person being willing to still operate out of pure love and light despite the darkness that you're coming out of. <sighs> Awakening. Lessons. Outcome and ascend. And look at this here. Hesitation. You and your twin are awakening to your connection. You both have been learning lessons through your individual awakening. And then you're going to come together and you're going to learn lessons about actual partnership together. But hesitation is here. Some of you, you're still... You're hoping, wishing, praying, and manifesting this connection... But it seems to me that once you get it and it, the level of vulnerability and intimacy that it requires, you're going to find yourself being hesitant because of your own heart, past heartbreak and, and broken trust. But see, by the fall, something is going to be changing. Right now, you guys may be needing to focus on self-care, your nutrition, exercising, getting your home together. Because healing, you're you're in a healing process right now because there's an offer coming in. And if you're, you're, you may be worried that this if you help this person or if they help you, that it's going to be just like the past situations where someone just took advantage of you. No, this person is grateful and appreciative of you. So spirit is saying release. Release your fear and anxiety and all of your doubts about this, this new connection. You're only afraid of this connection because of what you've been through. Yeah, free will. Just take a leap. Just j jump off the cliff. And for some of you, this masculine energy for sure, this person is leaving everything behind for true love. They're terrified because they don't know if you're going to... They don't know if they're going to sink or swim when they dive into these waters with you. They don't know. You, you and someone both, it's like you have, poten you, you know, this connection has potential. But that doesn't mean that the fear of rejection or this situation not working and being just like the past situations or even worse. Is not going to creep up in someone's mind. This is two people who are going to need a lot of assurance a lot of like emotional support affirmations a lot of assurance and, and then reassurance financial challenges is at the bottom of the deck here so somebody could definitely be dealing with financial challenge somebody here has lost everything somebody out here has lost everything and i don't know if this was god's way of humbling this person or or what but yeah, rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. It, it feels to me like someone has just gotten kicked out of the matrix. And in the matrix, in this 3D reality that they have been in for so long, 
they they were not ascending and i feel like god is just like listen i'm gonna strip you of everything that has been stopping you from ascending so now i'm gonna take away the job the finances the friends the family everything that's fake and phony you're going to be rejected from things because you need to be protected. Somebody did not realize that they were in some type of situation or family dynamic or whatever. Maybe they were in it because of finances. They didn't realize that it was very karmic. It says here, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Yeah, try not to be so uptight when this person comes. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. <laughs> both people in this connection are undergoing a spiritual transformation it's definitely like twin flame energy true twin flames <laughs> does this situation align with your morals and values children are important to this partnership Some of you a person, they have children. Or both of you could have children. This could be a blended family situation. Because you have here interference and apology. And release obstacles and unavailable. And then for some of you. There's a person out here that keeps interfering in this connection. They're just very childish and they don't want to see you and another person come together and possibly have children together. Or if it's not children, somebody on the outside looking in who has been released, they have a lot of unhealed wounds when it comes to this breakup. This person, although they're unavailable and can't give you what you deserve, they want you to still stay with them in a situation that does not align with your morals and values. I feel like I'm definitely talking to like a divine feminine. You guys could have like a karmic masculine. This person keeps on. This could be part of this illusion of you being entrapped to someone keeps on projecting onto you that you need to accept their apology, even though they rejected you and that you need to accept the fact that they have perhaps a, a partner and children and other things, you're going to have to stand firm in knowing that somebody wants you to be a part of some kind of situation that does not align with your morals and values. And this is the unhealed wound that's blocking your forward movement. Some There's a person out here that is extremely, I mean, like terrified to ever be in a third party situation. There's a third party situation that has left someone just tainted because of the torture that they've had to go through dealing with this karmic person and whoever their karmic lover is and i feel like now that your two of cups is coming you're you're afraid you you're afraid that every person you deal with is going to be emotionally unavailable they're going to you know be unwilling to heal or change and that's not the, that's not the case You can't only see red flags. You have a green flag connection here too. So some of you, you're making a green flag connection be full of red flags because of this energy that you you need to release. Firm boundaries are needed now. You, it's somebody you need to get out of your energy. Yeah. This person who feels, who feels a lot of regret for letting you go. Somebody wishes that they would have married you, but you're going towards marriage now. So they're projecting their obsession onto you. Especially now that you're doing something you've never done before and it's going to lead to marriage. You already know the answer that you see. The attraction you feel is mutual. And yes, your true love is already a part of your life. You're in denial about it. There's someone in your life right now that is your true love. Because of your past, you keep denying this fact that you love someone and they love you. It's only because it doesn't look the way you thought it would look. And because of your fear when it comes to the past situation. 
but you definitely have this third party energy this person is little they're bound to a situation that they chose and their situation with this person has come to a complete end. They want your forgiveness, but it's like you can forgive this person, but you don't have to ever be with them. Finances. Somebody out here is for sure working on their finances. Air here for um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody is trying to work on their finances because they want to marry you. Proposal. Wow. Soulmate. Divine connection. And you have jealousy here. Someone is watching you a green-eyed monster. And then here you have um, twin flame. So you have the twin flame and the soulmate out here. A lot of you, you have a soulmate and a twin flame. One of these people is very, very karmic. There's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of intimacy within the next few weeks. Because you and someone are going through a spiritual awakening. You're seeing a situation, you're seeing the truth of something here, and it's helping you to get more aligned with your soul purpose. I feel strongly, like I said, with this retrograde energy, with Virgo being in retrograde and then Mercury. When you really look over your your past connections, you're gonna either realize that you really are meant to be with that person from your past, or it's time for you to walk away forever and never look back. The chaser card, somebody is determined to be with you. Like somebody is going to pursue you. The truth is you have someone from your past as well as someone new that are both going to be determined to have you. Expect a text or a call. Someone will be confessing their love. Like I said, it could be a new person or the past person. But someone here is wearing a mask and being very deceptive. One of these two energies you can't trust. And someone wants to tell you that they're sorry. It, you you can't. You're still going to have to take action. So for some of you, you're going to get the apology and the confession from someone. This person wants to communicate with you. I can't make this up. Look, this person wants to communicate with you. But it says your karmic partner. They're your karmic soulmate. They do want to communicate with you and tell you that they're sorry. But spirit is saying you need to take action and make a good change and the good change is you moving forward with a person that you see is actively making plans for the both of you and this could be a fire sign they have a gift for you and look at this third party and it literally says mercury retrograde reconciliation contemplation you have a decision that you have to make for some of you your person is the, the one from the past. You should be able to know by their intentions. But it is time for you to experience some good karma and celebrate. And I feel like you're going to be happiest with the person that's willing to spend the quality time with you. And you know for a sure fact that they're not just in and out. The person that's willing to spend quality time with you, that you know with that person, they're healing their inner child. They help you with healing your inner child. They, they're eager to compromise with you and they're loyal okay this person that's coming in and out they rejected you divine feminine you need to be careful because this person has a family all right but they're missing you and desiring you and they're planning to come in and love bomb you and if you let this person come in you're going to miss out on this opportunity with this person who will forever be loyal, dedicated, trustworthy to you. The one that really wants, the, the person that's putting in the work, even if they have financial challenges or anything, they're putting in the work to build their account because they actually want to propose to you. You have a person out here for a lot of you, they're married and they have children. They will never propose to you or marry you. And if they do all of the hell that they are already in, it's going to show right up on your doorstep with them if you want that life for yourself go ahead but <laughs> it, it looks like god the universe is gifting you exactly what you've been manifesting but it may not look the way that you thought it would so take some time out for a bit of introspection you need to sit back and connect right now with your higher self and with your your guides pay attention to your dreams okay because for sure you have a surprise coming up and look at this 
you have options. You will have more than one love, but it's retrograde energy. There's always a past person and someone new, right? This is nothing new. You know how this goes. Don't be tricked. <laughs> Do not be tricked. Do not be deceived. And a lot of you right now, even if you're dealing with someone currently, you're you're denying the fact that you care about that person because you're feeling their energetic pull to that past person. And like I said, I don't I'm not trying to make it seem always like the past is is so terrible because for some people like I said, the love of your life maybe it is someone that you've been with. All right? But it's not about whether they're new or old. It's about their intentions. 